now let us discuss about the monsoons don't get terrified with the flow chart what is being given or the mind map which is given for you it is made it easy for you to understand let us go point by point let us see here first what is the meaning of the word monsoon when we talk about the word monsoon the monsoon was first recognized by the arab merchants who used to sail all along to india from arabian countries in order to do trade so they were completely at the mercy of the wind when the wind was in favor to them they would have a safe drive when it starts to reverse they would have the impact of that one it was very difficult for them to travel this reversal of the winds was first observed by the arab traders so the reversal of the wind is known as mausam which is an arabic word later came to the formation of the monsoon so the literal meaning of the word monsoon is the seasonal reversal of the winds is known as monsoon which has been derived from the arabic word called mausam in arabic mausam means change of the movement of the winds so that's how the meaning of the word monsoon has come and what or how is a monsoon increasing or what are the factors that make the monsoon rains to occur let us see one by one first the reversal of the winds second the differences in the heating and the cooling of the land and water when the land is heated to a very high temperatures and when the water is having the difference so now this low pressure area starts to get the pressure from the water body where there is a high pressure so air moves from high pressure areas to low pressure areas automatically the water vapor starts to come in in the form of the winds that results in the movement of the winds escalation of the monsoon rains the second major factor what we have is the t sorry itcz it's inter tropical convergence zone which means that here the northeastern and the southern eastern winds converge at a point which are the winds which are present near by the equator they move 5 degrees apart from the equator parallel to the equator basing on the movement of the sun the sun is moving towards the northern hemisphere they move towards the northern hemisphere if they move towards the southern hemisphere they also move towards the southern hemisphere so this movement also brings the monsoons towards the land from the ocean currents the third major factor what we have is a high pressure in the madagascar region we all know madagascar is found in the indian ocean where it is away in the indian land so from here 20 degree south you have high pressures which are moving towards the northern part and they bring enormous energy with them and also moisture with them moving towards india and causing indian rains or monsoon rains in india and then we have the tibetan plateau in summer the tibetan plateau gets heated up continuously and it is nearly 9 kilometers above than the normal land vertically it's very high and the indian land is very low resulting in the high pressure so from there it starts to flow down towards the indian side the warm winds come down the cool wind starts to move from this side so that also causes the monsoon effect in india and the jet streams the jet streams visit in india in summer season and cause its impact so that the high pressure starts to get reduced here so now again the movement starts and moving on to the region where this monsoon occur is 20 degrees north to 20 degrees south from the equator the movement of the wind only can be transformed into monsoons when it is in the very close quarters of the equatorial region that is from 20 degrees north to 20 degrees south and it also causes different effects like the southern oscillations when the uh, temperatures or the variations of the pressures occur generally in the peruvian coast we have the cold winds moving on cold currents moving on when these cold currents are been replaced by warm winds then we call it as elino effect this elino effect means the southern oscillations the change of the movement generally from the southern ocean towards the pacific ocean we have the movement of the current winds but 
when the southern ocean or the indian ocean since pressure reduces and from pacific ocean when the pressure moves towards the indian ocean side so it means that they are in the reverse oscillation so this reverse oscillation is called southern oscillation this happens starts from the peruvian coast replacing the cold ocean currents with the warm ocean currents and then the differences of the currents will be in negative because they are moving in the regular reversal form than their original form so that forms for us a difficult situation and it results in the bad rainfall or low monsoons for us this elino effect occurs 2 to 5 years from where again it also changes so this is also known as l l e l s o it is elino southern oscillation so the southern oscillation or southern elino effect is very common nowadays because of change of the temperatures or because of the global warming we can find that the pressures towards the pacific ocean are increasing and towards the indian ocean are decreasing so when high pressure to low pressure when the winds are moving from the eastern towards the southern side or from the north towards the southern side the cold ocean currents are been replaced by the warm ocean currents so the differences of the warm the differences of the currents is if it is in negative that results in the elino effect which will directly impact the monsoon rainfall of any country because the monsoons will come only when we have cold currents more when compared to the warm currents warm currents do not carry much moisture with them or rain bearing effects with them but in the cold currents they carry water vapor and moisture with them so that results in the causing of the rainfall here they are been forced to convert into warm ocean currents because of the movement of the warm ocean currents which are moving from pacific ocean towards the southern ocean so we have the poor rainfall during this period of elino effect elino is a spanish word which derives for us that change or new child or new person coming in or new changes happening that's what we can find from the regular phenomena we find a difference here that's why it is known as elino or el so effect elino sosh southern oscillation effect so the main reasons for the monsoons is monsoons are nothing but the arabic word mausam which is a seasonal reversal of the wind it occurs only at 20 degrees north and 20 degrees south closer to the equator it happens because of the differential heating of the land and the water it also happens at uh, inter tropical convergence zone where the southeast and the northeast winds converge and they form very close to the equator and they run parallelly at 5 degrees to the equator and they move based on the movement of the sun we have high pressure belts also present in madagascar because of which we are experiencing monsoons towards india the great tibetan plateau which is on a vertically very high level from the indian land that is 9 km away which is also creating the movement of the winds and we also have southern oscillation or the elino effect because of which the movement generally happens last but not the least we also have jet streams visiting india during the summers which also change the ocean or the wind patterns in india and now let us see how does the monsoons onset in india in which month does the monsoons monsoons come over in india and when do they off or leave india let's find out now we shall look at the monsoon onset how does a monsoon forms this is all we have discussed now let us see when does the onset of the monsoon actually happen here the monsoon generally spreads over from 100 to 120 days the rainfall the normal rainfall suddenly grows up and increases so the increase of the rainfall suddenly is known as the cloud burst or the burst this happens with the onset of the monsoon so this is a symbol that the monsoons are on set on the indian land first they come in the month of june in the arabian coast then they divide and join towards the arabian coast and the bay of bengal coast the first indian southern tip in kerala they experience the first showers of monsoons and later it goes on up to mumbai the konkan coast and then go to the mumbai then to the ran of kutch till there in the month of june up to the 10th of june while in the similar way the bay of bengal part also gets the monsoons and from there it sends directly to the assam region where from there it has been reverted to the western side and then it reaches to the indo gangetic plain 
and it started to cause its rains and it is around some 29th june is a tentative date wherein it reaches the delhi and the northwestern parts of india with this the entire rain start to spread over the north india so from the 1st of june to the ending of the june and the middle of the july it starts to spread over the entire country and the entire country would be influencing by the monsoon rains it causes the rains in the entire nation so that's how the monsoon onset of the monsoons bring rains in india in a span of 0 to 45 days as soon as it touches the indian land and it goes on spreading till a certain date and then there is a withdrawal procedure which is very rapid in our country so first the withdrawal starts from the northwestern side in the month of september and then it moves on towards the northern side slowly it starts to take off from there and finally towards the while well, that time it reaches towards the south it comes towards at end of the october where the offset of the monsoons comes to end so the onset in the month of june and the offset but they start to turn completely off the indian land by the end of december or the first week of january in the meanwhile the indian land would be experiencing the winter monsoons so the temperatures will be changing the entire thing starts to move off the island parts of india would be getting the showers in the first showers and then they would be getting showers in april and may and also in the december and the january time where that's how the onset and the offset of the monsoons happens through a systematic procedure and there are many scientific reasons and we also have seen the factors that are influencing the monsoons of a country especially india now let us learn about the four seasons of india if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus